you know, the Lakers are arguably the most marquee franchise in NBA history, okay? Yeah, the Celtics have more championships, but I believe the Lakers have overall more wins than any other franchise. I think they have the highest winning percentage of any franchise. So, you know, they're arguably, like I said, the most marquee team, and they don't have that championship aura that they used to have, all right? Um, Kobe's gone. We're past the Kobe era. Kobe somewhere climbing the Himalayan mountains with his Grizzly Adams beard, just enjoying life, enjoying retirement and those millions. So, you know, they don't have that marquee name attached to the franchise. So who did they go out and get? The great Magic Johnson. Now, of course, Magic Johnson is far from his playing days. He's 57 years old, so he's not going to be playing in any official capacity in a basketball game. But he did join the team in a somewhat weird title. Uh, never heard this position. I think he's going to be some type of like a... Um, he's going to be an assistant and consultant to the team president and part owner. And I think he's also going to be a financial advisor. So he's going to wear different hats uh, or a business advisor for the franchise. Um, Magic has been very critical of the owner, ownership uh, Jeannie Buss and the family over the past couple of years, ever since the father uh, passed away a couple of years ago. And um, the franchise has not been, it's been going downhill, okay? And ever since Jerry Buss passed away, they haven't been the same team. Uh, certain decisions, certain moves, certain trades, whatever. Also, just the, the, the way that I think Kobe Bryant's contract was structured was bound to dilapidate this team eventually, and it did come to fruition. I get a lot of predictions wrong, but I predicted that back in 2010 that that, that contract was going to kill the Lakers, and it did. Um, but, you know, Magic Johnson had this to say, quote, Everybody knows my love for the Lakers. Over the years, I have considered other management opportunities. However, my devotion to the game in Los Angeles made the Lakers my first and only choice. I will do everything in my power to help return the Lakers to their rightful place among the elite teams of the NBA. And this is a surprising move because, like I said, he's been very critical of the Lakers the last couple of years. And in particular, talking about management. So... You know, uh, Magic is a very formidable person. I mean, he's built himself into becoming the second richest basketball player of all time. Uh, according to the information I've read, the only guy has been more successful as a businessman is Michael Jordan. Magic's worth over $500 million, probably closer to $600 million now. Um, he has a great basketball mind. A great business man. He had one of the highest basketball IQs when he played. So his advice should be warranted. You know, he was winning on the court directly and now slightly less directly, but in management, hopefully the Lakers can get back to where they were before or close to it. But this is a, franch this is a franchise as a proud franchise. They have 16 NBA championships. Uh, they ha have, uh, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, I think seven NBA championships in the past 30 years, I believe. So, hey, and I know the Lakers want to eventually one up Boston when it comes to championships. That rivalry is still there. I know Magic wants to pass Boston. So let's see, man. Let's see if Magic can get this team back to where they once were.